Hello YouTube, today I'd like to talk about a uh, real quick and simple easy way to make pine look a little bit more interesting, make it look a little more rustic, a little more uh, old, because pine is a really boring wood. I mean, it's it's ugly. I mean, it's just plain old white, yellowish, it doesn't really have a whole lot of character to it. Um, and a lot of us are building these uh, farmhouse tables out of pine because that's what's at our local home center and it's affordable. We'd all love to build it out of walnut or something nice, but it's gonna make the price jump up, you know, 10 times. So uh, we can, uh, I found a little trick that I can make this pine look a little bit more interesting and I'm gonna share it with you. It's super easy, anybody can do this. Let's go to the bench. So here's my piece of pine that I'd like to uh, improve upon a little bit, make it look a little more rustic. And I'm just using a uh, little propane torch. That's stubborn. There we go. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put some burn marks in random spots. Stupid torch. Just try to be random with it. Now that you have all your random uh, uh, burn marks on it, now you put your stain over it. Uh, I'm using uh, Minwax Provincial. And I just apply it with a paper towel. And it kind of blends in all your burn marks. But it gives the wood a little bit of a, an aged appearance. It makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. There it is with the stain on it, and uh, now we'll just apply some polyurethane to protect it and put it together. And next I'm just using uh, polyurethane by Minwax, uh, semi-gloss is what I like, and I've thinned this down 50% with mineral spirits. so. It's a little easier to wipe. I don't like brushing it because I hate the brush marks. And when I wipe it, it just uh, comes on cleaner. I don't have to. I don't have. A, it just looks more natural. The the brush marks are terrible. I think. Um, and this is just easy. So I just thin it down about fifty percent. I'm gonna wipe three coats on here. And then we'll see how it turns out. Well, I did four coats of the poly on there. Uh, they're very thin coats when you wipe it, which is awesome because the, the poly dries fast. It doesn't give it a chance for uh, dust and stuff to stick to it. And uh, I don't like the globular look that brushes leave and the brush strokes. And uh, the brush does put a thicker coat on it and it takes a lot longer to dry. Um, so I like doing thinner, thinner coats, um, more, more thin coats than a one big fat coat. Um, 
And then after the second coat, just go ahead and sand it with some 320 and that'll knock down any, any uh, dust or any, you know, any roughness that there is in the, in the finish. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. I assembled uh, one of my table legs so you can see what the finished product looks like. So this is just a table leg that I built in an X style fashion. And you can see that the, uh, the burn effect kind of just makes it look like it's older wood and it's fairly subtle. And it's just an easy way of giving pine a little bit of character without uh, breaking the bank, just a little bit of torching. It looks stupid when you're first torching it, but after you apply the stain over top of it, it just kind of evens it out and just kind of makes it look old. Well, I hope somebody can benefit from my video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and I'll have some more uh, quick tips and stuff that I do in the shop. I have some projects planned for the future. I just haven't had any time to get, get in the shop as much as I like to. Work just gets in the way. You guys have a great day and a happy building.